Roaches are to LA what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are to New York. Hey dudes, where you going? Hey! Hey Donnie, looks like this one's suffering from shell shock. Hey you guys, okay, so today I am here to warn you. <laughs> just kidding. I'm here to just let you guys in on some pros and cons of moving out here to LA. If any of you guys are thinking about moving out here, you guys might wanna, you know, know some things if you've never been. Or even if you've been, you can't you can't really get a full grasp of certain things until you actually live here. So I'm here to give you guys some insight about living out here. Some of the good and some of the bad. So let's go. So first pro is that there are lots of opportunities out here. That's why mm, That's why most people come out here is for like some kind of work, career, especially in the industry. A lot of people move out here for that. So if you're moving out here for that, just there's definitely lots of opportunities out here. Con, the price of living. Oh my, okay, I'm from Cleveland, so I didn't realize how inexpensive like living in Cleveland is compared to out here in LA. Like, for example, Cleveland, no, your mortgage might only be like $800. In LA, good luck trying to find even a studio apartment for under, a good one, for under 900, 800. You have no bedrooms, no walls, $900. They go up to like 1200 and 1300 for a studio. It's crazy, I don't, I don't. <sighs> And the crazy thing is too, that the minimum wage is only $10. It's ridiculous, so just keep that in mind. Come on here with a little money in your pocket if you can. Pro, the weather. The weather is so, it's really nice. Like there's no winter, you don't have to worry about snow or too much rain. It, <clears throat> the weather's just nice. All year round, it's pretty nice. It gets really cold at night though. Keep that in mind. Like if, Going out at night, always have a jacket because it'll be like hot in the day and as soon as the sun sets, it's like chilly. Con, there's earthquakes. <laughs> so I guess you can choose. Would you rather have blizzards, winter, and below zero temperatures or an earthquake here and there? I've experienced a couple of them actually. Um, the first one I didn't even realize, I was sleeping and then I heard people talking about it later in the day and I was like, oh, that wasn't a dream. That was and then I actually experienced one. I was laying in bed and I felt it. I was just like, it woke me up. I was like, oh my God. It was scenario. Thank God it was like just a minor one, but it definitely shook the whole apartment building. But it was cool. Pro, there's probably lots of people out here doing what you're doing career wise. Con. There's probably lots of people out here doing what you're doing career-wise. <laughs> That's a pro and a con because it's it's nice because you have people out here who you can relate to, who understand your struggle, what you're going through, or you know, can just give you guidance on how to get there. And on the flip side of that, um, there's so many people trying to do exactly what you're doing. And I don't think of it as like competitiveness because only you can be you, like no one else can be you. Even though sometimes you go to an audition and you just look like there's 30 people who look like me. Like, okay. <clears throat> you know, people are gonna tell you like, Oh, it's so competitive and stuff and you're like thanks because that's really that's really what I needed to hear I didn't know that didn't really <laughs> don't let that even discourage you but I saw a post on Instagram that said your superpower is that no one else can be you or something along those lines I
I thought that was dope. Like, that's so true. Like, no one else can be you. If you be true to yourself and do you, you're going to get wherever you're trying to get because you're unique. No one else can be like you. They can look similar. They can dress similar. But no one is going to be you. So. All right. Pro. The mountains. There's beautiful mountains here along with the weather it looks beautiful there's palm trees and mountains and beaches and it's just a beautiful place to live those mountains like you can go hike up the mountains and but i forget all the time because you know you're looking when you drive this stuff you're looking like straight and then sometimes you just look up and you're like oh my gosh like the mountains are right here it's crazy like con you're gonna have plenty of time looking at those mountains while you sit in traffic Goodness. The traffic out here is a beast. Like it, it ain't no joke. Like for like, you have to like schedule your life around traffic. You have to know what times you can go certain places, where you can how you can get to places on the street. Literally, some place that should take you 15 minutes might take you like an hour and a half if you get in bad traffic. Like it gets that that bad. Have some music in your car that you like or something because you're just gonna be sitting there like there's nothing really you can do about it so it's something you're gonna have to learn to accept and just learn how to navigate around and it's... <sighs> yeah okay pro it's very inspiring to live out here and when i say inspiring it's because like i said there's lots of people doing what you're doing and you see people succeeding in it and you see people you know on commercials and on tv and they see you and you know it's a very inspirational. You see people driving like Teslas and living in mansions and millionaires, and you know, it's a very much a place to go after your goal. If you, because you'll see people doing it and succeeding, so it kind of inspires you to do the same thing. And if it makes it feel like it's close, like you can run into a celebrity on the street, so it makes it feel like or or like Steven Spielberg in a grocery store or something. So it just feels so close. You feel like so close to your dream, if you know what I'm saying. Con. There is a ridiculous, sad amount of homelessness out here. It's like I've never seen it, <clears throat> seen it like this before. I moved to LA. Like, if you guys probably heard of Skid Row, it's downtown. It's an area where it's just blocks where there's homeless people all on the streets. It's like there's like tents set up everywhere. That's something in LA, not just in Skid Row. All over LA, you'll see tents, just random tents set up where people are living. And it's crazy. Like, and that I'm sure has to do with the price of living. The price of living is so high. It's like, that's a really sad part of living out in LA. Seeing that on one side, there's like so many mansions and millionaires and see people driving Lamborghinis and stuff. And then you go down here and there's people sleeping on the street with no pants. Like, it doesn't, so sad it doesn't make sense to me there's too many greedy people that's why it's just too many greedy people and that people don't want to help these people so sadly that's a part of LA okay pro there's so many hustles out here though like you can try uber you can do like postmate a lot of stuff if you have a car you can do a lot um grubhub um there's also catering when I did some catering for events and that was cool because I got to go to like the Academy Awards and the Emmys and see all these celebrities up close like Tom Hanks and Beyonce and there's all types of stuff you can do promo work you can even sit in the audience of shows and they'll pay you for it like there's so many things if you really want to work you can find something they have so many opportunities you can even go on a game show and win money I've done that too I've went on um I went on let's make a deal and won eleven hundred dollars so <laughs> There's just all types of opportunities to get money out here, so. Con. Meeting people is kind of like more of a network experience than just meeting people. Like, okay. It can be somewhat hard to find people who are really just want to be your friend and just you can just be cool with that aren't just in it for what opportunity you can give them. And um, a lot of people have said that LA is a lonely place. It, it's good if you're a religious person to go get a church or go on to get an acting class or something where you'll be around people because 
even though there's so many people around you all the time, you feel like you, you're never alone. Sometimes you want some space. At the same time, it can be a lonely place to live. I'm okay with being alone. Like, I, I, I love my solidarity. Like, I love being alone. But a lot of people I know aren't okay with being alone. They need to be around people. They need that, you know, that, that presence. If you do, you know, you might want to think about getting a roommate or... Just, you know, like I said, joining some groups or doing something like that so you can meet people. Pro, there is always something to do. You can always find something to do. Even if it's like going just to the beach, there's always some events going on, especially in the summertime. There's lots of food events and festivals. And like if you go on Groupon or like Eventbrite, Time Out, you can find all types of events, even free events. There's so many free music events and all types of stuff. And if you're bored and there's nothing to do, I mean, it's just because you probably just aren't really that motivated to go out because there's definitely stuff to do. It's con. While you're uh, finding something to do, you might have a hard time finding parking. Parking is a commodity out here. Parking is scarce because there's like, it's, it's, it's really overpopulated here and there's just enough, just not enough street parking. It's just not, well, I take that back. I take that back. There is enough parking, but there's lots of places they don't let you park. And oh my goodness, trying to figure out these street signs, it's like an algebra problem. It's, it's so confusing. Like there's three different signs on a pole sometimes. And you're just trying to like do the calculation. Wait, okay, so I can't park from this, but I can't park from this time. But wait, only on Saturdays, except Sundays. But like, if it, it, you guys ever saw the movie La La Land and the girl's car gets towed, that if you don't live in LA, you're not gonna completely understand La La Land. If you don't live in LA and you're not in the industry, you might not get some of the things that are in there. You might just think, oh, our, tow, our car just got towed. No, no. That is a part of living in LA. Like tickets, your car getting towed, diff there's different color sidewalks. You gotta know what the color sidewalk means. Um, they just try to get you with the parking. The meters, like, get over with that. Like little technicalities, like you gotta make sure you park right between the lines that are put there. And... <sighs> yeah, so be if you could read the signs when you come on. And I don't mean that like any kind of like spiritual, read the signs, literally, read them well. Because if you don't, and you don't have it exactly right, don't just look and see, oh, there's cars over here, so let me park. They probably could be all wrong. Like, or you come out five seconds later, all the cars are gone, and you're the only car right there. Don't, don't rely on that. Read the signs. And pro, you get to meet people from all over the world. Like, people come from all around, other countries, other states all over the world to LA. I get to see a lot of different cultures come together. I think that's kind of cool. I've met people from all, all different places, so that's pretty cool. Con. People cannot drive out here to save their lives. This driver has been some doing, some, actually that's Imperial Highway that we're on there. He has been doing some crazy driving. It's, uh, yeah, look at that. Wow, oh, so close there. People drive so aggressively. Like even if, I, I bet you half the time they're not even in a rush, but people always drive like they're in a rush and they don't use their turn signals and they do the most dangerous stuff you ever see. Like do U-turns in a crazy way or go in the wrong way down the street to get in like, uh, just I've seen some crazy stuff and some crazy accidents sadly because people just aren't careful. Like easy thing like just using a turn signal could just prevent an accident letting somebody giving people room like they're gonna be the people with the nicest cars who drive the craziest and i'm like you do not care about your car at all and these drivers ugh, they will cuss you out call you all types of, you didn't even do anything and they love to beat their horns I don't even want to cut people's horns out of their car. Like, can you just stop selling cars with horns? Because they will be, like, they don't even let the light change. They'll look at the other light when it turns yellow, and they'll be beeping the horn already. Can, can, I, can the light turn green here? Like, they are so impatient. It's ridiculous. <sighs> yeah. Pro. 
there are donut places everywhere like everywhere <laughs> like 24 hour donut places and stuff all over the place so if you're a fatty like me and every every now and again you want a donut this is this is this is a good place to live probably bad place probably bad though it's probably bad yeah oh just like on um what was that Friday at the next, when they remember when Craig and Day Day worked in that plaza and they had the holy moly donuts. The holy moly donut shop, huh? Said to the guys, holy moly donut shop. That was a perfect example of a, a plaza in uh, LA. Like, there's always a donut place in these plazas. Always. It, it never fails. That was like a really good depiction of an LA plaza. Con. Donut places are open late but nothing else is. Something that's so whack about LA is that everything closes early. Like after 10, 11 o'clock, everything's closed. And there's like no Walmart even. <laughs> like literally, there is no Walmart in LA. Not, not one. There, there's no Walmart everywhere in Cleveland. I used to go there at night. Have you got nothing to do? I mean, go to Walmart, walk around, do some, I don't know, actually play with the toys. I don't know, say something, but here, Nope, you just out of luck. At night, you go home. Pro, it is a huge city. So, like I said, there's always something new to see, some new area that you haven't been. And it, it's nice to go to different spots because like a lot of areas are different. They look and seem and give like a different vibe than other areas. So it's pretty cool. It's pretty, I've been living here a long time and I still go to areas. And I'm like, where am I? What? What area is this? Like, it's, it's, it's big. Con. The fact that you're in a big city, everything is spread out. So, like I said, the traffic. So, sometimes that sucks. Like, having to go all the way across town for something. The public transportation out here is not the best. Like, it's okay. Like, it's getting better. But it's not like New York where you can take the train anywhere. Like, nah. But out here, which night, what's nice is they have Uber Pool. Um, so it's a cheaper rate, but you'll have to, on your way to your destination, I might pick up somebody else who's going like in a similar direction as you. It takes a little longer, but it's cheaper. And yeah, if you want to get around, if you don't have a car when you come out here, just know that it's, it's everything spread out and public transportation is okay, but it's not the best. A uh, pro, I guess? Um, I don't know, that's a pro. I mean, it's not a pro for me necessarily, but um, weed is legal, if you're into that kind of thing. Um, I don't smoke weed, but um, if you do, it's legal, so if you got glaucoma or something, I don't know. Con, the roaches and the rats. <sighs> <laughs> Roaches are to LA what Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles are to New York. Hey dudes, where you going? Hey, hey Donnie, looks like this one's suffering from shell shock. What I'm saying is that there's a problem with the ecosystem. Legit, like the size of like, like big is heck. Kind of like the size of a, um, a date. You guys know how dates are? Like the size of a date. Like they're coming at nighttime and they will run towards your feet. It's, it's creepy. Like I'm not even the type that's scared of bugs. Like I I had a pet tarantula, so bugs don't like freak me out like that. But those big giant roaches, oh my God. <sighs> and rats. Like even I was at Venice Beach, we are walking like where some houses were and it was a big rat that ran down the top of the oh my god they don't be near any train station late at night because that's where the rats you could just drive past and you could just see them like run it you're like it's bad it's pretty bad all right pro people are more open-minded i'd say out here like definitely more open-minded um about just people's choices and just about trying new things and they're also like, it's really healthy. It's a really healthy place to live. Like people are a lot, I think more forward thinking out here and see that, you know, things, some things need to change, but you know, at the same time, respecting other people for their choices and 
I see lots of signs that say like, what do those signs say? These signs that I've seen in lots of people's yards that just saying that, you know, just showing respect for everybody basically. I think that's pretty cool seeing out here. Con. The people out here are, how can I say this? There's a facade out here that I haven't seen. I definitely didn't see back home where, you know how they say like on Instagram, that's a, like, you know, don't take that as people's real life. They care so much about what people think out here. Like it's all about image and kind of like fake it till you make it kind of, that's like that's like the mindset of everybody. It's all about perception. Like as long as people think you doing stuff, that's good enough. You, it's, I mean, I kind of get it that, you know, perception matters, but it's to a point where it's like, like be real. Like stop trying to convince, like, why you worry so much about what people think? Like. And that's it, you guys. That was my last pro and con. So basically, there's lots of great things about moving to LA. There, like I said, it's a beautiful place. The weather, there's amazing people out here too. Don't get me wrong with some of the stuff I said. There's like dope people out here. Um, there's a lot of interesting people you get to meet and you're close to the industry if that's why you're coming out here. But just know that it can sometimes feel very unwelcoming. Sometimes it just feels like everything is trying to push you out, like the traffic, the price, the the people who are the drivers, like, and if you really are out here for a reason, don't let those things discourage you. Like, keep, just forget about all those things and just focus on why you're here and just keep pushing and you'll get there. It'll be fine. So yeah, so I hope you guys like this video and I hope you guys got something out of it, especially if you're trying to move out here, you know, relocate. You know, it's good to know some things beforehand. So hopefully this helped and I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe, share, comment, and yeah. I upload every Thursday, so stay tuned for the next one. All right, you guys.